Call all you have a Bahashem, you have a Shah Bahashem, a Kakudash, the Buanas to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone who rule well over the flock. Shalom and salutations, you brothers out here pushing the words of truth and sincerity. This quick video highlighting the movie King Richard with Will Smith about Serena and Venus's father. It says at the bottom, Venus, Serena, and a plan for greatness. I just checked out this movie on HBO Max. And um, it really highlights what is missing today, what has been taken away by the Heavenly Father, of course. You know, the fact that there's a lack of parents, and I say parents like two two parent households in the Negro, Latino, and Native American community, especially Judah over here in America, <clears throat> it just proves um, how much these curses are still relevant to this day, the curses of the Bible, man, right? Isn't it not in um, Deuteronomy 28 that um, uh, your sons and your daughters shall be taken from you and serve, you know, other men, other people? And so, you know, the, the role of a parent today is diminished until basically nothing. Like the school does the main job. If you discipline your children, it's uh, ACS or whatever services that come and take take um, take your children away from you. If you discipline them, what they consider too harsh or if you spank them. When the scripture says, um, spare the rod, spoil the child, right? So it's many different um, methods that Esau oppresses have to um, maintain the status quo, which is Jake inca incarcerated by the age of 20, all right, which is 58% of um, deaths for ages, men, black males ages 24 to 35 is, um, or 38 is um, homicide, all right? This dark culture, which they call black culture today, all of this is demonstrated in in signs, all right, of an oppressed, of, of, of exploited people, all right, and exploited people. Because when you watch movies like this and you research exactly how we were doing post slavery, we were doing just fine, you know, until crack era, until drug era, until feminist movement and diff different agendas that broke down the family. So let's get into the scriptures, right? Lock in. Let's get into these scriptures, man. This is um Exodus 10 and 2. It says, And that thou mayest tell in the ears of thy son and of thy son's son what things I have wrought in Egypt, and my signs which I have done among them, that ye may know how I am, how that I am the Lord. Who is supposed to tell the sons when the parents aren't around, when the father's not around? Who's supposed to tell in the ears of thy son? With the things the Lord has done and brothers for brothers who have children and are not able to see their money, I feel your pain. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of us brothers, and we and we um and we suffer in silence for the most part, but we suffer, you know, and but we suffer for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's sake. So remember that all the afflictions you catch in this truth, you suffering for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's sake. You pray for your children, you pray for your baby mothers. Because they're the ones that's watching over your children. Hey, I went through it. I went through an era of putting up curses on my baby mother. But you know, you know, once once I got over the, I started rationalizing. You know, men, you know, other brothers, you know, they helped me, and elders will help me understand that that's not the wisest decision to make. Guess what? Now the Lord has it where me and my baby mother's on good terms, so so forth and so on. So. You know, you know, never lose hope, man. The Lord can make something happen, change 180, okay, when you start sending up blessings for the people you love, man, especially your children. But I digress. Exodus 13 and 8 says, And that thou show thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. These are the things which we should be telling our children. You know, um, the movie King Richard was a great movie. It highlighted the fact that Jake fathers are very necessary and highly necessary, all right, to help our children compete in today's demonic world, all right, to have a fighting chance against evil and Satan and, and, and continue to be believers. They need the voice of the fathers and mothers, all right? Let's not hesitate to, to, to highlight that fact that the mother was there the whole time, so they grew up in a dual parent family household, and that's what caused Serena and Venus to be unstoppable forces in their sport world, how much more 
for an Israelite of parents to teach their children who they are. Let's keep going. And it shall be as for a sign unto thee upon mine hand and for a memorial between thine eyes. That's this word. That's what this word is like unto. You don't have to wrap your hands and your eyes with phylacteries anymore. This is spiritual. It says that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth, for with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. We got to be remembering. We got to teach our children to remember what the Lord did for us as a nation. Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in his season from year to year. Deuteronomy 4 and 9. Only take heed to thyself and keep thyself diligent. Lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen. Lest thy, they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. So your grandparent, your grandchildren, or let's say your grandparents, was supposed to have this word. But because the Lord had his discontinued from thine heritage, you didn't receive this at a young age from your grandparents and their parents before you. You are more than likely the first generation to ever receive this word, and you received it from your spiritual parents, your, your, the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. So especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy power in Horeb, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. So we're supposed to be teaching our children what? This truth, this word, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That's what is passed down from generation to generation. This knowledge, this wisdom, which shall be the stability of that times, Isaiah 30, um, 36 and 6. <clears throat> or 33 and 6. Deuteronomy 11 and 19. And ye shall teach them your children, speaking of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou lies down and when thou rise up, this word needs to be continually pushed, especially to the young ones. From First Samuel 2 and 26, And the child Samuel grew on and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. See the children, children, children. You have to, you know, even, even in what was the custom of the Israelites? That your firstborn, your firstborn would be given to the Lord. The firstborn male of your child would be given to the Lord, man. So it continues. That's 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 how much much dedication we have to the Creator as a nation of people. We're supposed to have. We're supposed to teach and then bred and bred breed our children and notice. Psalm seventy eight and three, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us, we will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord. And his strength and his wonderful works that he have done. So those three things we need to pass down to our children. When you're in conversation with your children, don't be remiss to um, acknowledge those three things. To teach them the praises of the Lord. That you have to praise and thank the Lord. Teach them the strength of the Lord. And teach them the wonderful works that he did for our nation. You can start with Egypt. It says, for he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers, that they should make them known to their children. That the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should raid, arise and declare them to their children. And that's why mass incarceration rates, that's why um, welfare began. That's why the feminist movement, it was all plans to disrupt the natural order of the parent of parenting the child. That's why eight hour work days began. That's why school um school and then homework to basically take the whole day from the child. And even when the child gets home, he's consumed the homework. He don't even get to hear what his parents have to say to him. This is by design. And we have to recognize this is not the normal process of things. Your children are supposed to learn from you and from your parents as well. The same message. The fear of the Lord. The praises of the Lord. His strength, his works, the testimonies and the law. Passed down generation to generation. It says that they might set their hope in Yahweh. And not forget the works of Yahweh. But keep his commandments. Even children, yes. 
talking about it's too young for a child to know his sexuality. No, a child should know because she should be taught in the law from a young age. It says it might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright and whose spirit was not steadfast with Yahweh. Proverbs 22 and 6, the scripture, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Lord willing, this video was edifying. If you ain't checked this movie out, you know, it's worth a watch, especially with your children, if you have any, you know. Otherwise, you know, it's still worth a watch, you know, um, just because it shows the role of a parent, you know. And then in, in, in it's very soon, the Lord's going to restore Israel to our perfect nature in balance, harmony, our land, our possessions, our heritage, and that two-family household that we always wanted, we're going to have it again, all right? And we're going to be that role model and that leader in the family, and not just to be there, but be the leader amongst the family unit, all the men. Our logo, this video is edifying. Until next time, shalom.